everyone, welcome back to another one of my videos. I got a new camera. So this is the camera that I got. It's the Sony ZV-1, uh, but if you're in America, it's the ZV-1, which does kind of sound a bit better. I'm filming on it right now. So this is actually a new camera and it's perfect for vloggers they've done uh sony's done an amazing job with this camera and i usually use canon um so this is my first ever sony camera so this is my old vlogging camera this is the canon g7x mark ii uh this is a very popular uh, vlogging camera and yeah you've probably seen this camera quite a few times so many people have it there's a newer version and i was going to get that but then i realized they didn't actually fix that autofocus problem i've had this since 2017 and i have been wanting to get something with slightly better um camera quality i did get a lot of use out of this camera um for some reason this bit is like lifting up and stuff i, I don't really know what actually happened so in this video i'm going to be sharing with you guys uh, all of my hamsters food and treats and basically where I store it so um, I did actually film a portion of this video yesterday which was me going through all of the treats and basically just sorting out that drawer I'm gonna go ahead and insert that clip um, in a minute just after I actually show you guys where I store those items this is my hamster's cage her name's Bluebell and she's a Russian dwarf so her cage is the IKEA D12 and I have it sitting on top of two sets of the IKEA mom drawer back in and briefly talk you through what I have. First off I have this basket filled with a bunch of bits and bobs so I've tried to like organize it as best as possible. Um, so in here we have some of the Rosewood Naturals Herb Plus. So if you guys saw my Halloween hamster cage video I've seen that in there. Um, Bluebell absolutely loves this. I sprinkled it around her cage. Next we have uh, some of the healthy bites nutri care um immunity care and odor care so i have been using these for years with all of my hamsters and they absolutely love them i haven't opened these though what an open treat i have is the woodlands sticks mix um so this is what they look like these are from pets at home then we have these which is by a brand called i can't remember what this brand is called the brand is called bunny and then next we have some dandelion root which bluebell absolutely loves um i've got some of this sprinkled around her cake really loves to chew on these pieces i've seen a few in like her little hidey area and we've got some of the rosewood apple and strawberry bunnies these look quite tasty um i haven't tried these with her just yet bluebell is quite a fussy hamster um she's quite nippy at the moment and i'm in the process of taking in her and the only treat she really takes from me um, is pumpkin seeds so it's been really difficult trying to find treats that she will take from my hand she will eat things if you place it in the cage um, but the only treat she takes on my hand is a pumpkin seed if it's not pumpkin seed she's not interested next we have one of these broken oh no I think one of these are broken which is kind of annoying um, so this is the Rosewood Naturals dandelion sticks and um you basically hang them up in the cage but this one it broke and i'm quite sad about that because it kind of defeats the purpose um but i'm really looking forward to trying this out and i'm just gonna go ahead and wipe this out because it's got bits at the bottom right so this container usually sits about here so i just put it in um this packaging this is what i use for my um business but this is the jr farm i forgot what the mix was called but it has a bunch of different sprays in there i haven't tried all of these with bluebell just yet <laughs> have everything back in this basket I can start putting the jars in so I have a couple of empty jars um, that I'm just going to go ahead and place at the back um, if you're wondering where I get my jars from they are from Ikea some of these have treats in there for my um, shop so here we've got some banana bites apple bites key flakes these are all stuff for my website oh one more this is the four seed mix so there's four different seeds in there this is just a really nice treat mix you can just sprinkle a little bit in your pet's food dish or you can hand feed it it's great for taming so the next couple of stuff um is actually for bluebell my hamster so this is the rosewood mix in the jar i couldn't fit it all in the jar um but yeah the rest of it is in that 
pocket there and we have some red and yellow millet so here we have the science selective pellet I fed this to all of my hamsters dwarfs and syrians and this is a really great mix um i don't recommend feeding it on its own i always mix this in with a um, seed mix or muesli mix whatever you want to call it this is all of the nutritional stuff that they need in blocks but obviously if you're just feeding your hamster this it's a bit boring um so yeah that's why it's always great to just mix it this is her main food which is almost finished uh this was by a company called bears hamsters they sent me some of their food bluebell does like it With the little jars i'm gonna go through them now so i think i have two of them uh, that are filled with apple. I actually bought this for when I do taming sessions with Bluebell, but she just does not take these from my hand. A little bit of marigold. Um, so I actually use this in my flower mix, which I'm going to be showing you guys how I mix in a little bit. Um, I decided to just take a bit of this uh, for Bluebell. So the colour looks great in her Halloween themed cake. Then we've got her favourite pumpkin seeds and I've just mixed this with a little bit of dried pumpkin. Both of these you can actually find on my website. Then lastly we got some freeze dried chicken so this is great for protein. So onto the first medium sized jar. I have, I don't actually remember what these are called but um, I forgot what these are called uh, but yeah oh my gosh I've just dropped one. Yeah, so these are two uh, natural chews. I haven't tried this with Bluebell just yet, um, but I'm pretty sure she will love that. In the last jar, it's just filled with a whole bunch of Wendy's. So we got um, the little alligators, and we've got the toothbrush chews, the toothbrush ones I sell on my website. And there's some really teeny, wee, tiny ones down here let me see if i can get one so i used to sell the small ones but i think they've actually just discontinued them which is really sad because they're super cute so this is the uh extra extra small ones and this is the extra small so you can see the size difference how cute is that this is like the perfect size for a dwarf but um yeah i think they've discontinued but this apple chew here which is made from cornstarch i have this cute little um teacup it's adorable um, I think this would look great in her cage. I can't wait to use this. And then I've also got this heart wreath and I've got a circular one as well. So I was selling these on my website for a little bit. I'll probably put them back on again because they were very popular. Um, but yeah, these are super cute. What I'm going to go ahead and do now is um, get Bluebell's main food dish and I'm going to top that up and then show you guys um, what I feed her. Bluebell actually has two food dishes in her cage so I'm just gonna go ahead and take them both out and I'm gonna take out her water as well because I need to uh, fill that up so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, fill up her water bottle with some nice uh, fresh water okay, so this pumpkin dish is adorable and this is what I use for her main food and it's great for her because she can sit in it and hamsters do like sitting in their food dishes and then this next dish is just this ceramic black one and I need to wipe this one out because this is the dish that I put her like fruit or her veg in usually at night time when she's a bit more active um so I'll probably give her some veg today because I didn't give her any yesterday I don't give her um fresh vegetables every single day it's more of a every other day kind of thing so i'm going to give her some of this oopsie, oopsie. i'm going to give her some of this food mix um if i didn't already say this is by a company called um bear hamsters and they did send me this just before i got bluebell um and yeah so i'm going to give her a little bit of this once this food is done i'm probably going to switch her over to another food because um she kind of likes it but she does sort of leave a lot of the pieces in her bowl for a very long time. So I'm going to give her two spoonfuls of that. So this should last her a little while. And how cute is this bunny spoon? These are adorable. They're on my website. I'm just going to give her a few pieces of the science selective pellet. So I'm not going to give her many because I gave her some yesterday. So I'll just put like four in there. I'll give her a piece of freeze-dried chicken just for a extra bit of protein that is it for this vlog i don't really have 
anything else to share with you guys in this particular video it was a bit of a random one because i just really wanted to test out this new camera um and just see how it performs and everything let me know in the comments what you think of it can you tell like any difference in the quality so i'm not entirely sure what my next video will be um might be another cage related one um hopefully you guys are not sick of seeing cage videos i'll probably do like another cage related one like a spot clean or something or i might do like a day in my life or like a week in my life or something like that um even though my life is kind of boring um <laughs> so in november i'll just tell you guys now that i will be giving her a autumnal cage theme so just like i did with the halloween one i'll be taking the halloween stuff off i'm replacing that with more autumnal stuff so i've got some new fairy lights coming um i'm going to be getting some more hammocks i've already been speaking with the lady and i've chosen like what pattern fabric and stuff i want because i'm ordering a whole bunch of christmas ones for her from her for my christmas boxes so i'm going to be getting some really nice autumnal hammer the cage is going to be mostly the same i'm just going to switch out the halloween stuff to um autumn stuff so that's one video that's going to be coming up in november i'm not too sure what else i have planned for that month um and uh, i might as well talk about december because that's coming up very soon um i won't be doing vlogmas i haven't done vlogmas for like the past two years um i do something called festive vlogs so i basically just vlog a little bit um vlog every other day throughout the week and just put it all together and there we go festive vlogs so um i will be doing that throughout december and then i usually film uh christmas eve and christmas day separately and then in january you'll get my what i got for christmas videos so that's kind of what i've got planned for the rest of the year nobody asks but i thought i would just tell you anyway because uh this year has just gone so fast and i can't believe we've only got like a little over a week left for um october is crazy i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below don't forget to follow me on instagram my hamster account is tiny hamster paws and my personal account is just my name so yeah bye for now guys and i'll see you in my next video